What the hell is a Fabergé egg? Fabergé eggs are some of the most intricate and valuable works of art ever created. These small, jewel-encrusted masterpieces are known for their beauty, craftsmanship, and rarity. In this video, I'm going to try and explore the fascinating history of Fabergé eggs, where they come from, their value, some interesting information, and whether or not they get faked. If you can believe it, Fabergé eggs were actually originally designed to be Easter eggs. They were created by the Russian jeweler Peter Karl Fabergé, who was commissioned by the Russian imperial family to create elaborate Easter eggs as gifts for their loved ones. The first Fabergé egg was created in 1885 for Tsar Alexander III, who wanted to give his wife, Empress Maria Fedorovna, a special Easter gift. The egg was white enamel shell with a gold yolk that opened to reveal a tiny golden hen, which in turn held a miniature diamond crown. The Empress was so delighted with the gift that the Tsar ordered Fabergé to create a new egg every year. Over the next 32 years, Fabergé and his team created a total of 50 imperial Easter eggs, each one more elaborate and intricate than the last. The eggs were made from precious metals, enamel and gemstones only sought within Russia, and each one had a surprise inside, such as a miniature carriage, a clock, a music box, and many other assorted inclusions. Many of the eggs were given as gifts to members of the Russian imperial family, but some were even sold to private collectors around the world. Fabergé eggs were created in the workshops of Peter Karl Fabergé in St. Petersburg, Russia. The eggs were made by a team of skilled craftsmen, including goldsmiths, enamelers and stonecutters, who worked together to create these intricate works of art. The eggs were created using a variety of techniques, including decorative engraving techniques, enamelling, and gem setting. As I mentioned earlier, the eggs were not only made for the Russian imperial royal family, but also for wealthy collectors around the world, including the British royal family. Some Fabergé eggs were lost or destroyed over the years, and only 43 of the original 50 imperial eggs are known to exist today. Each egg was often inspired by a historical event or theme, such as the Russian Revolution or even the Trans-Siberian Railway. If you're curious as to whether or not Fabergé eggs get faked, yes, this happens a lot actually. In fact, most of the photographs I've shown you thus far have been photographs of replicas. It's actually quite a big industry. Due to their high value and rarity, there are many forgeries and replicas on the market. It can, in fact, be difficult to tell the difference between a genuine Fabergé egg and a fake, as many forgers use very similar materials and techniques to create their replicas. However, there are experts who specialise in authenticating Fabergé eggs, and it is always recommended to have any potential purchase examined by an expert before making a purchase. In summary, Fabergé eggs are fascinating works of art with a rich history and incredible value. Whether you are a collector, a history buff, or simply appreciate fine craftsmanship, these eggs are one of the most remarkable examples of human ingenuity when it comes to craftsmanship. 